walk quietly in the hallway? Are you kidding me? There, there should be some sort of additional clause for this sign. I mean, seriously. They should say, um, uh... Whenever there's a crisis such as a castle takeover from a giant turtle with lots of different turtle... Uh, turtle, uh... Turtle troops. Yeah, lots of different turtle troops. You know, there you should be allowed to run in the hallway, man. You should be allowed to run. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna run up these steps. I'm gonna run up this hallway here. I'm gonna long jump here because I can. And you know what? There's nothing you can do about it because you have no authority here, Mr. Sign. Ow. Okay, except you could hit your head. Yeah, you have no authority except hitting your head on top of the steps because you choose to do that. No authority, no power here. I'm running all the way. All the time. Everywhere. Anywhere. You name it, I will run it. I will run it, not walk it, because running is what we need to do in order to do it well in this game. We gotta keep running. Keep on running. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Shawman247 back with more of Super Mario 64. In the last video, we took on Snowman's Land, and we, as you see from the pause screen showcasing our stats here, we have fully cleared the entire level within one video. Although it was a bit of a longer video, and still, it ain't too bad. We cleared it, that's what matters. We're at 82 stars now. So, we are actually about three quarters of the way through the entire game. That's a good fact to stand by. And, well, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take on the next course. But before that, I also want to just make note of this toad here again because of what he says. And I was too busy singing over it. Or doing the singing toad voice because he's a singing toad. But we're just gonna um, uh, pretend we we're gonna pretend that he isn't actually saying these words. We can read his mind. We're not actually talking to him. We're just reading his mind. That's all we're doing. So yeah, he told us about the mirror before, which was a reference to Snowman's Land. But this time we're gonna. Take note of this tip here. When you go to the water town, you can flood it with a high jump into the painting. Well, perhaps we ought to go to this said water town. And wouldn't you know it, I think this might be it here. This giant little painting of a little water creature. How about we go inside and just jump straight in? Here's course number 11. Wet Dry World. Shocking arrow lifts. This one has a really, really interesting mechanic behind it. The whole mechanic behind this level is it's wet or dry. There's these switches all across the map that will basically change the water level. And by that, I mean like how high the water rises or how low the water can go. These little sphere um, uh, prism-like switches here. Hit it! And the water just rises. And pretty much that's the whole big gimmick of this level, but the water level can also be set by um, uh, how high you jump into the painting too, so keep that in mind too, because the higher you jump into the painting, the more the water actually is going to change. It'll go higher up the higher up you jump into the painting. Anyway, this first star, because I glossed over it, is Shocking Arrow Lifts. In order to get this star, we have to go over here. And although we could take these lifts, and it's quite shocking, because these lifts will just move, I think personally, it's so much easier to just shortcut this, and this entire star can be shortcutted so, so easily. Check this out. Okay, even when I try to do shortcuts, I fail at them. Of course, is that going to be what the precedent is for today's video? Failing at shortcuts? Sure, we can we can do that. We can do that. Yeah, of course. 
failing at jumps. That's entirely why I signed up for this game. Alright. Let's get back up there, and let's do this right. We don't need to take no stinking arrow lifts. We can just long jump to the star, just like that. It's right in here, and I'm gonna get my butt burned, aren't I? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, for freaking sake. Alright, fine. I am going to get back up there. Hope it's not gonna take me that long, so I shouldn't have to cut this. Except if I keep failing at this gosh darn jump. Alright. This time, we. Whoa, man, Mario, you are tripping. Alright. There's our first star, shocking arrow lifts. So you could just take the lifts to get the star. If you don't feel like jumping, or otherwise you can just long jump to it, or just swim down to it and ground pound it if you jump into the painting high enough. Let me demonstrate that right now. I'm going to do actually a backflip into it. Check this out. That was definitely a little higher than um, uh, I did, did before. So star number two, top of the town. If you have the water level really high up when you start this star, it is really easy to get. And you, as you see here, I actually, because I jumped high into the painting, well, I actually was able to get the water level really high. But before I do that, there is something else I want to get while I'm here. Check it out. Back on this platform, if we side somersault, there's our ba -bomb buddy already! Hi! I'll prepare the cannon for you! You, sir, have a nice epic voice. Why, thank you! Ready for blast off? Come on! Hop to the cannon! And I did not mean to talk to you again, sir, but I just couldn't help but notice your voice is very epic. <laughs> Alright, top of the town. You want to get the water level really high up for this one. because And if you start low, you're just going to have to work your way through the platforms in order to get this easily. Which, thankfully, you can pretty much do with triple jumps and adjusting the water level. But top of the town, this one is not too bad, though, if, the water, if you start out high. You gotta go into here and check it out. We have a brand new enemy, and probably one of the worst ones in the entire game. These guys are called Chuckyas. What they're gonna do is, well, they're gonna try and go after you and try to throw you. Throws themselves won't do damage unless they throw you off a great height. Like so. But you. What you need to do in order to defeat these guys is pretty much do a whole King Bob bomb thing to them. Just throw them, and then basically, yeah, they drop five coins. Nice and easy. Now this part over here kind of stinks, because you have to travel across a short plank. But what I recommend doing is changing the camera angle so it angles straight down. Just watch for those amps. Oh my gosh change the camera because this is where we need to go and then there's a box here and then when you go inside the box there's the star and when you do when you see the star is you go get the star and you backflip to it because it's nice and fancy and that's how you get the star in this level called wet dry world well that's star number two don't you know yeah 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 you should know now because I just showed you how to get alright <laughs> top of the town that's star number two wet dry world very interesting mechanics I really enjoyed this level. Probably one of my favorite levels in the entire game, and I'm gonna jump in high. And yeah, I think that might have not been the best course of action for this one, but okay, fine. I can work with this too. Now this is another one of those five spot stars. In order to fully get this one, you have to hit five certain places, but thankfully most of them are mar marked by boxes. Yellow boxes, I'm saying. Such as this. That's number one. And there's a lot of coins in that box. What does this sign say? The mystery is of wet or dry. And where does the solution lie? The city welcomes visitors with the depth they bring as they enter. Yep, definitely uh, something you should note. 
Well, that's pretty much just saying the same exact thing I was saying, that your height is gonna be pretty much dependent on, you know, swimming through boxes and stuff like that. Whew. Okay. I think what I want to do is here, I do actually want to lower the water level a little bit. Yeah, here we go. That seems a lot better. I believe we can actually do this now. Was Do I have to actually move this box in order to get, get the uh, secret going? Do I actually have to? I'm trying to remember to star because I have not played this level in so long. Not since the last time I actually beat the game. I shouldn't know how to do this though. Okay. Maybe I might actually have to lower the water level up down some more. But before all that, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna need to lower everything down now, so down, down, down. We'll lower that water down. Mm. All right. <laughs> cable guy reference. You know that movie with Jim Carrey, where he plays a crazy cable guy supplying cable to people. He tries to be friends with this one guy, you know, named Steven. And he's supposed to actually be like a very nice guy, but he's a bit crazy too. Yeah, yeah, you know, you might say a little bit too friendly. But I'm not going to say too much more about that. But I love that movie, though. It's such a fun... That's such a funny movie, I feel. It's a dark comedy, but, you know, I enjoy that one. And... Did I need to actually lower it down even more? There's got to be one more uh, prism switch that I'm missing here. One more. Alright. Guessing it's over by the corner here. Yep, there it is. So let's get this all the way down. And we're gonna have to work our way back up because a lot of the uh, secrets are down low. Punch these boxes in order to get some additional coins and I'm not actually doing the 100 coin star at the moment, so... <laughs> yeah, that's not... Just, I don't know why I'm fully showing that. Anyway, we want to move this box here. There's another hidden spot here. And we want to keep moving this until we get it positioned right where that shadow was. So that way we can get this, and that's secret number three. Alright. Next up, we want to go up here and... No, no, the heave hose! Ugh. Another... Another really annoying enemy you're going to start to see a lot is those guys there. Heave hose. They can't actually be defeated. And there's another secret if you push this box in. They can't be defeated, but you need to use them in order to actually go up up uh, certain heights like this. But if they drop you far down... Oh, no, 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 Mario, get up! Oh, darn it. They'll just drop you. Oh, my gosh. I was about to be like, you're not going to do this to me again. Oh my gosh, am I seriously going to die to a heave hell right now? Oh boy. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try and see if I can triple jump here. Nope, I can't. I have to use the heave ho to get up. So I only get one chance to do this right. One chance! Where is that thing? Come on, buddy! Come on! Just change your angle. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, no. Ah, alright. You know what? I'm gonna have to cut this part out then, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, um, uh, I'm just gonna cut back in here briefly while I say, um, uh, that you can actually shortcut this entire ledge entirely with a side somersault going up here. But, like I said before, you can't actually get up this part of the ledge without using the heave-ho. 
Ugh, I really hate these guys sometimes. Because it's just like the- you have to align them that- so, uh, what a, when they face backward, you just go flying this way. And you know what, I'm just gonna go back into commentary here, because this is where I died anyway. So, next up... You want to go up here... And I just climbed on top of a sign and got the secret there. Alright, and then the final one should be this box, I believe. Well, this box, and then you go on to this box. No? Okay. Then I'm getting that mixed up with something else. Okay, what... Yeah, what I am getting this mixed up with is this switch here. You have to press it. Then a block staircase goes on up. No, oh, no... Oh, come on, Mario. Oh my gosh, I failed that. Uh, not a problem. I'll just do it again. Woohoo! That's some fancy jumping, Mario. Anyway, the last secret should be this box. And then in order to get the star, we have to actually go back to pretty much where we started. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try a risk. Uh... Oh, denied, man. Seriously? Okay. Uh, oh wow, I'm gonna need to raise the water level for this. Okay, there should be a crystal, crystal right here. And that should be just enough in order to actually get myself up there. Right back to this platform we go. This platform we will go. This platform we will go. Jump on this platform, oh yeah, this platform we will go. And that's our star. Finally. That's an odd camera angle right there. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So I think for this next one, we want to actually start out low. Yeah, we want to start out low. Next up, we have Express Elevator, hurry up! Hurry! You know, like they said in the original Ridge Racer. <laughs> I'm making a lot of references in this video, aren't I? Ugh, okay, yeah, that's not too big of a deal, though. So what we want to do is we want to hit this crystal here first. This prism crystal switch. Yeah, I'm just going to call them crystal switches now. And we want to break over, open this box, because we need this path over here open for later. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's not where we want to be. Come on, I'm, 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 I'm one, I'm gonna attempt this. Yeah, I cannot make that without at least raising it up a little. Or, you know what, I probably am going to need to go raise this up a lot. So, let me just see. Maybe this one here will be the trick? Express elevator, hurry up. Oh wait, no, actually I shouldn't raise it up because I just realized something that we need that path with the box to be um, uh, pretty much... Okay, actually, never mind, this might be manageable. Okay, we gotta go back to the top, pretty much, in order to get this one. Well, figure I'd still try. <laughs> Heave ho, good old buddy old pal! With your nice little face. Your little face that's so, so secretly evil. Oh no. No, Mario, get up! Oh man, that is so close. Through the switch, because we need to go up here. And what we need to do is we gotta go get this star here in this cage. But the only way to really get it is if we actually hop on down and get the secret, not intentionally. And whoop! There we go. Jump onto this. 
And this is gonna take us straight to the star. You may think you could just simply wall jump your way across to that, but um, you're just gonna get blocked before hitting the star if you just try to wall kick your way up here and... Okay, I did not mean to go back down, but sure. I guess we'll take a ride down, why not? And over here... Yeah! Alright! So, that's pretty much star number 4. Now, 5 and 6 are stars I never achieved I, as a kid. You know why? Well, let me show you how. Because, But first of all, a good tip before attempting the last two stars, make sure you go in with the water level high. And I really do mean having it really, really high. Because it says here, go to town for red coins. Yeah, this is a red coin mission, and you know what? Actually, I kinda done goofed. Wow. Uh, actually, I did not want to get the water level high for this, because I'm, I was gonna intend to do the 100 coins as well. Well, you know what, I'll just need you guys back up here. See you guys in just a moment. Alright, I am back everybody, and this time I'm ready to get get to coin collecting. First of all, we want to get these guys here. Get their three coins. Nice and easy. Now remember these boxes here, you definitely want to get those too. Get those guys. Ooh, not dive into the box. I said punch the box. Thank you, Mario. Yeah, go to town for red coins. I never actually figured this one out as a kid, mainly because it's in an entirely different area that the level is not really made obvious. First of all, I think I may want to... Let's see. Ah, come on. Uh, I guess there's nothing from that box. Alright, well we want to move this in place to get that other box. Here we go. Because, it, very important is to get the bop coins from these boxes here. You know, the same ones that you'd hit whenever you did the, uh, fourth star, the secrets. Because each one of those boxes there, a lot of the uh, gold boxes, contain about 10 coins, and missing a lot of those is definitely going to harm your chances of getting the star. So, yeah. Want to get this guy here. Get his three coins, and there's the blue coin switch. So, where, where are they? Right along the edges here. Definitely want to take advantage and get these while you can. And I think we may want to raise the water level a little, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, th I think we may want to do that. At least get things going. Yeah, because there's another box up here. If I'm not mistaken, this is also coins. Yep, there we go, only three though. Want to go through this path, raise the water a little bit more, and also get to here, which has about a line of five coins. And let's see. I'm trying to remember all the coins because it's been a while since I played this level, actually. I'm doing everything in this game pretty much based off of memory. Now that we're up here, we want to get these coins. There's a lot of coins in the regular part of the level. And I did not mean to actually read the sign, because I wanted to go up there and get this box. Yeah, double jumping usually gets a lot of those box coins very easily. We want to go up here. Whoop. 
And we're at 94 coins. This is a very good spot for us to be in. Because we definitely have enough coins in order to actually get get the 100 coin star without going to the town part of the level. There's three more in that box. And we should be able to get our last few with a line of coins up here. Oop. Get up there, Mario. Thank you. And just like that, there's our 100 coin star. Nice and easily done. Actually, what does this sign say? Sometimes, if you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point in a course, a red number will appear. If you trigger five red numbers, the secret star will show up. Yeah, that's talking about how the secret stars work, but that definitely would have been a lot more helpful to have earlier. Just saying. Now, the town part of the level is something I've never been to when I was a kid. Because, let me just say this. You have to get the water level really, really, really high in order to get here. Otherwise, there's only one other way to get through here. I mean, if you didn't have it set to max height, you aren't gonna, you aren't um, uh, gonna get through there by normal means. So the only other way to get there is by using the cannon. Yeah, I'm not even kidding when I say that. And also, you could really shortcut star number one by having the water level this high. I'm being serious right now. Oh my gosh, I almost collected that by accident. <laughs> that would have been funny <laughs> if I did. Uh, I thought there was like one up there for a second. I guess I'm just seeing things again. Alright, go up here, and here's the cannon. The only one in the entire level. And actually, I think I may want to try for these one-ups. Is that enough height? Well, that's enough height to get those one-ups, but not enough height to get to the town area. Okay, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just cut this part out, this brief part. Why not? Any little time I can save counts. Alright, you basically want to aim for the corner here, so this is how you do it. Shoot like right at that here, and you'll bounce right on into it, and hopefully you don't glitch through the level. And then you just swim down here, but be careful of your air. Whew. It's a nice long pass, so we may want to button mash our way through. Long swimming levels. Like I said, actually, Wet Dry World is definitely one of my um, uh, more favorable courses in this game, purely because of the unique water can mechanic. For its time, it actually was very, very cool and neat. So, I feel that actually it's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty darn nice. Because not a lot of other platformers were doing this sort of thing around the time this game, game came out, but, um, uh... Yeah, a lot of other platformers weren't weren't even 3D yet. This is like one of the earliest ones, and the earliest one that was pretty much successful. And for that, I'm glad because this game, without it, a lot of other games as we know it wouldn't exist. Really, you know, even like the creators of GTA even said that Grand Theft Auto 3 would never exist if it wasn't for this game. Which I find pretty fascinating, especially because the 3D aspects of this game was pretty much what they took in mind for um, uh, GTA 3. And as so forth, you know, it went on to be a part of other Grand Theft Auto titles and all that sort of stuff, too. But if you're a kid watching this, why are you even thinking of playing Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> There's a rating system, after all, unless you really think it's that cool to play. Although I wouldn't blame you because GTA is a pretty darn awesome, cool series, and maybe I might play through those games one day soon myself. One day. I don't know, would you like to, for me to play through a GTA game? Just leave a comment. Yeah, leave a comment. So, in order to get a lot of the red coins in this part of the level, we have to do a lot of fancy wall kick techniques. And, oh man, it kind of sucks if you aren't good with wall kicks. 
So a lot of the red coins are within these boxes, and the only way to get them is by either having the water level really high, or just finding some creative ways in order to get up to higher ground. I believe that's a one-up in that box. Here we go! Another red coin? Sure, I'll take these coins while I'm at it, because Mario is greedy! And no, oh, yeah, this wall kick can be kind of tricky here. Gotta time everything perfectly. There you go. Because there's one up here. There's a lot of coins in this level. Wow, I, I actually forgot how many there were in this level. So 100 coin stars should not be that too challenging if you can get to the town. Oof. Sure, that works. That totally works. And that's star red coin number eight, and there's our star! Oh boy. Yeah, I might as well get that. Get the star instead of going up there for more coins. I'm already greedy enough. <laughs> Here we go! Wow, got a lot of lives just from that whole star. And you know what? I guess while we're on the trail, we might as well get the last star too. But it's all the way back in the town part. Yep, quick race through downtown. Now, you can't do this one without having the vanish cap beforehand. This one's impossible without the vanish cap, and I'll show you why. I'm going to pretty much cut away until I get to the town. Just so I could clearly illustrate this, so see you guys in just a moment. Alright, now that we're up here, we can actually go do some investigating. And I actually never knew about this switch here. What does this do exactly? Uh, what does this do? Actually, I'm very curious, what did that switch actually do? Uh, let me go find that out real quick. Oh, oh, right, we need to hit that switch. Well, we can go without that switch, actually, but... Yeah, that switch actually helps with the star we're doing, because what we need to do, actually... ...is get the Vanish Cap here... ...and quickly make a mad dash! Go through the walls here in order to save a lot of time. And although you can hit that switch in order to get a box to appear to help you up here, I'm actually going to do this th with the wall jump once the, the vanish cap wears off, I guess. Now that we can do that, we can wall kick through that, just jump up here, and that's our last star of Wet Dry World. And we're one away from 90, and that's actually going to be three quarters of the way through once we get that. But we'll be getting that in the next video! Because next time, we're going to take on another brand new course, and I'm just going to keep saying that because... Well, yeah, unless I happen to take a long time through a course, yeah. It's just going to be all new courses from here on out, pretty much. Whew. So, I guess on that note... Pretty much, if you enjoyed the video, depending on how wet or dry my commentary was, uh, don't take that sentence out of context, and I probably shouldn't even have said that in the first place, <laughs> then uh, get, give it a like. Also, be sure to share this out with other people you might find will be interested in this game, and also subscribe to see more Mario 64 as we get on through to the late, later parts of the game. Uh, these last few levels are levels I am not looking forward to doing. Because now that I did Wet Dry World, I think we're starting to get towards that point where the levels are really going to start to be a bit, um, uh, give me challenges, and you might see me just legitimately fail. I mean, I haven't been failing too, too bad throughout this playthrough, but, you know, it could always be a lot worse. I mean, a lot, a lot worse. And you know what, I'm just rambling on, so until the very next time, guys, stay classy. Stay classy.
There we go, that's the better way to say it. Bye-bye! Yeah.